<laughs> Hello gorgeous. So it is Halloween time and it's the best time next to Christmas. And I am so excited to do some Halloween looks for you. And first up, a leopard because what girl doesn't love leopard? I love leopard and this is the first time I've ever done a leopard look and I'm really excited with the way it turned out and I'm going to show you guys how to get this look so that you can be a sexy leopard for Halloween too. Let's go. So to begin with, I just have on a tinted moisturizer. I'm not using any foundation for this look, but you are absolutely able to. And I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm going to be using Max Paint in Bare Canvas and just put it all over from my lash line to my brow bone. Next, I'm going to use my foundation stick and I'm going to contour my forehead. So I'm actually going, my design is going to be leopard spots on this side of my face and leopard spots on these on this eyelid. So I'm going to heavily contour the side where the spots are going to be. So I'm going to do a second layer of foundation right there. So as you can see, this side is definitely darker than this side, but it, there's no real distinct lines, so it just kind of fades into the rest of my face. Next, I'm going to be using a golden eyeshadow paint. I'm actually using Scandalized. It's by Rimmel, and it is in the golden bronze. And I'm just going to apply it in various places where I want there to be a concentration of spots. I'm going to be using um, some shades from the Eyes on the 60s palette. It's from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to go in with this um, gold color and I'm just going to create some shading around the areas that I want there to be a really like natural tanny gold. A matte gold would be preferable, but I actually only have shimmery gold because that's typically what I wear. So that's what I'm going to use. Next, I'm going to go in and I'm going to work on this eye. See how this one's going to be gold with the dots? I'm going to actually go in with on this eye with all a matte black shadow, also from the same palette. So now that I have my two eyes, the base colors done, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows and I'm going to touch up my concealer under my eyes because I have actually no makeup on right now. And um, then we're going to move on to the spots, the fun part. I'm just going to use a matte brown shadow to fill in my brows. Okay, so I'm gonna start doing my spots and what I'm gonna do is begin with a brown liner. I'm actually using Urban Decay 24 seven liner in rehab and I'm gonna draw some brown dots randomly and then we'll move on from there. Next, I'm gonna be using a gold liner and I'm gonna do the same thing as the brown but just a little bit more sparsely in there because you're not gonna see this as much. Next, I'm going to be using a liner, and I'm using the Tarte Precision Longwear. It's the Lights Camera Action, and it's got the pointed tip, which is perfect for this because I want to get more detailed with it. So all I'm going to do is take my liner and create an outline to the shapes. And it's kind of like the more shaky you are, the better, because leopard spots are not perfect. Now for outlining the eye, you need a more hard tip. The flexible tip is not gonna work because you, you wanna get more precise. So I'm going in with the Scandalize, it's the Thick and Thin Eyeliner, and this one's waterproof, but it's got a marker tip, and I think that this is gonna be much better because this, as you could see me, I was kind of ragged there. I'm just gonna line my eyes and throw on a quick coat of mascara. So 
So you guys know I love to contour and um, I am going to contour the heck out of my nose because cats have a more narrow snout. I don't know what you call that on a cat. But um, I'm gonna actually use my nudes palette from Maybelline and um, I'm gonna go in with some of the, the matte brown colors, the darker colors, because I'm gonna really contour it. So let's watch. So I started with my nose with the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in black and I'm just touching it up with the blackest uh, matte shade from the Nudes palette and it just gets, gives it a little bit darker pigment which I'm, that's exactly what I'm going for. And I just decided to do kind of a heart shape right at the tip of my nose. Next I'm going to give myself some whiskers and I'm just going to go back in with the Rimmel Scandalize liner because it's got the marker consistency or tip I should say and I'm just going to throw on a few whiskers. Alright guys so I, first I line my lips with red, I just use a wet and wild red liner and then I use a black eyeliner to kind of fade in the top and I'm just going to go in with a red lipstick. I'm actually using Frankie Rose lipstick in Cabernet. It looks like this and I'm going to use it to just fade it in. You know how sometimes animals have a darker upper lip? That's kind of the look that I'm going for. So I might use a little bit of eyeshadow if this doesn't give me the look that I'm going for. Next I'm going to just use a black liner and I'm going to connect, bring this down a little bit right here as well as bring the insides of my liner down a little bit to give more of a feline look. Since we're kind of more of the sexy leopard, I want to show you a little trick that I love to do when I'm wearing a red lip for just a little pop of color. In fact, I read somewhere that this was Marilyn Monroe's makeup artist secret. I don't know if that's true, but I like to think that it is. So I'm just taking the gold shadow from the Maybelline Nudes palette, and I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger, my fingertip, like so. Okay, once I get it on there, I'm just going to dab it on. to my lips, right at the pout. Mix it in a little bit and it just gives a little light reflection right there. And if you want to, you can always highlight your cube as well with a little bit of shimmer highlight right there. You know, get your nose. Let's go ahead and get leprified everywhere else. Here's the final look guys. Do you love it? Because I do. I think it's so fun and creative. You can get as wacky as you want with this with the more spots, smaller, bigger, whatever. Um, I just decided to pair it with the set that I got my local Halloween store. It's the ears, little gloveys, and a tail. Pair it with some you know, head to toe black, maybe some kitten heels and you're totally a sexy leopard and I love that. I've never actually been a leopard for Halloween before so I'm really excited about this. If you guys have any other Halloween makeup tutorials that you would like to see me create, make sure to leave them in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to share it with your friends so that they can be sexy leopards for Halloween too. Don't forget to visit me, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those fun places. I love you guys so much and thanks for watching. Au revoir. Happy Halloween. Um, Kelly Kapowski from Save by the Bell. This blossom. Awesome, awesome costume ideas right there.